You know, Vermeer, I think it's the same challenge it is for any company, and that is truly understanding what the unarticulated needs are uh, for our customers so that they can become more profitable and, and certainly more productive. Um, I look at other examples of successful businesses today, and it's easy to look at that and say, well, why didn't I think of that? Um, but as we look at what we do within Vermeer, we're proud to be a specialist company. Um, we live and breathe uh, hay harvesting technology every day. Uh, most every one of our engineers and our product managers grew up in the industry and, and they're passionate about uh, the industry. And so trying to take uh, Gary Vermeer's mantra as find a need and fill it, um, th that's what our focus is every day. And sometimes we're right. And sometimes, um, you know, we have failures. That's what innovative companies do. Um, but I look at uh, this particular machine uh, that we're being able to show today. There was two or three data points that come up over the course of about a year. One being labor. Uh, one being the discussion that uh, hay harvesting hadn't advanced as much as perhaps crop harvesting or vegetable harvesting in terms of the variation uh, capabilities and the, the, uh, the adjustments, um, the dedicated machinery. And uh, then the third point come up is just, uh, truthfully, a lot of us uh, own zero turn mowers and are always talking about the efficiency from multiple respects of it, what it takes to mow our lawn. And uh, those kind of three data points um, brought it to the point of uh, deserving to be a, an engineering project. And, and that's why we're here today. But even a, a company, uh, an entrepreneurial type company like Vermeer, you have to figure there's someone that needs it. Uh, how did you determine that there was a need out there? As we talk about needs, um, the easiest ones to try to solve are the ones that customers bring to us. And they say, boy, this is just a frustrating point or this is hurting my efficiency or whatever it may be. But then we also have to look at needs that have been um, taken care of or fulfilled over time that perhaps nobody even knew that they wanted. You know, did I think about 1971, 1972 when Gary Vermeer invented the round baler, I don't think anybody asked him for a large round package they could store outside. The need was a labor concern and efficiency. Um, so to be able to deal with that from our perspective is that we added some additional dollars uh, to our budget a few years ago and we established an R&D group called 4 Innovations. Their focus is on things that don't exist in the marketplace today uh, versus our other very important R&D group where they're focused on bringing better balers and better mowers and better rakes to the market each and every day, each and every year. But for our Forage Innovations team, it is an interesting balance because we know we're going to be testing some concepts that aren't off the top of the mind of our customers. Um, I use the example of Uber. Uh, I have become an Uber lover, and there's about five or six things that I would articulate today that I love about it that I would have really struggled articulating to somebody interviewing me in the back of a cab two years ago about what I wanted that would be better than normal cab service. And, and that's the world that we play in here. And we're going to bring products to market that um, are an instant hit, um, um, but we're also going to bring products probably to, to expose to the market uh, that aren't just a natural hit uh, to, our, to our producers, uh, but we hope certainly as they start to understand the value that, that it brings, uh, that it will fulfill, uh, again, the unarticulated needs that, that they struggle with each and every day. So, who do you think are the primary uh, customers for, for this new product you're unveiling? Yeah, Dave, as we think about the, the persona or the primary customer, uh, our target is uh, initially the custom operator that may have two, three, four machines. Uh, they tell us they struggle with getting qualified labor. Uh, to be able to run that many machines. They tell us that they struggle trying to get all of their customers uh, hay done in a short window, so high productivity uh, is critical to them and, and high efficiency. Um, and uh, they also believe that they're in the business, so they'll appreciate the, the additional technology and the extra features uh, on this machine. Now, over time, uh, we certainly hope that uh, the technology is adapted just like it has been in other self-propelled type equipment over the years, it'll be adopted to a wider group of professional hay harvesters uh, around the country. You're going to introduce it at officially at uh, Husker Harvest Days in Nebraska. Uh, when, when do you think it's going to be available for sale through your dealers? 
Yeah, we know we will get uh, the question uh, pretty quickly um, about when is it going to be available for sale. Uh, we're still in the prototype stage at this point in time. Uh, we've had great success in the project up to this point. Our goal would be is that uh, a year from now uh, that we're starting uh, to expose our dealers to pricing and the additional specifications and that we'll have some machines in the market uh, in 2019. Okay. Uh, anything else you want to discuss at this time uh, about this breakthrough? And I, and I use that word, breakthrough. Yeah, no, it's, it, it's exciting. Um, you know, for us and those of us that work for Vermeer, we appreciate uh, the family-owned business uh, that's very passionate about the Vermeer brand, about the iconic inv innovation of Gary Vermeer. And uh, they're in for the long haul. They're uh, allowing us to invest at a higher pace than perhaps ever uh, to be able to continue to leverage the great brand that's been developed um, uh, over the 70-year history of Vermeer. And uh, we believe, uh, I sure wish that Gary Vermeer was here today because um, we believe this is certainly the next step uh, for our brand, our dealers, and most importantly, our customers.